If you know you want to be great in life and you feel like you're destined for nothing but greatness, you need to go ahead and start planning planning now and taking those steps to, to get there, like as of right now. Like, don't wait. Don't hesitate on it. There's no point to hesitate. Cut crease is done. Is it my best? Probably not. Is it good? Yeah, it's good enough for me to work with. So, as I, what I was saying about when you get some, when you start working hard and then you start to feel like it's at a, you're getting to a plateau, you never want to stay like stay because it's easy to kind of like get to a point of comfort and then you just keep going like okay this is cool this is cool you know and you start once you get comfortable you start putting stuff off you don't want to start doing that because it's so easy to get lazy but like what would be the point after that so i just encourage everybody including myself just keep pushing yourself keep working hard at accomplishing your goals whether those goals be large or small just keep pushing forward because you never know what what's gonna happen because success doesn't have a time stamp you work hard so you can be successful and no goal is larger than another so I just say keep working hard and you're gonna get there you, you are gonna get there and you'll be very, I'm um, saying, you will be amazed at how, either how how hard you work, I'll put it this way, how hard you work is how fast you'll see outcomes. Like, I didn't, ex the project that I'm working on right now, the huge project I'm working on right now, I didn't expect these outcomes to be like this huge. Like the outcomes are large and I'm shocked. I'm like, oh, so if I would have known working this hard on this type of project while I was in school, while I was taking these business classes, probably making the projects more so personal instead of just like, okay, I'm just doing this to get a grade or just kind of like, I'll put it this way. For my business degree, if I would have treated it the way I was doing my creativity with my broadcast journalism degree, like everything I learned with bro in my broadcast journalism department, I applied that to making my channel, like all the technical things that I would learn from my professor and I, from all three of them, honestly, because everything merged together into one. Like who would have thought a shy girl like me that had all of this creativity bundled up inside that I would be able to find an outlet like this and have the courage to actually do it because you're sitting here watching everybody else do it. I'm sitting here watching Raven Elise, Jail Corian, Amber Martin. Um, those are like the top three people I can name off the top of my head. When you can see that everybody else has their, and they all have their own reasons on why they started their channel, probably because the majority of them are the OGs. Like they never knew that they could make money off of this or whatever and blah, 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 blah. But, they continue to inspire people like me. It's like, I have all of these creative ideas, but I don't have anything else to do with them other than just doing the bare minimum to just get a grade to make it by. Like, but why would you want to do that? Why would you want to just make it by when you can continue to be great? So I took all of those creative juices and here we are today. Almost 200 videos. And speaking of hitting almost my 100th video, it's crazy for me to think that in a year, like I can post almost 100 videos. And I say almost lightly because I'm gonna do something huge for my 100th video. And I don't wanna give those plans away just yet, that's good. My 100th video, that's gonna be my, like, Something that I've never done. Stepping out of my comfort zone talking like never done. So this is going to be pretty freaking interesting. And I'm actually very excited to do it. So I can't wait to show y'all what I have in store. But that's pretty much where I am right now. Like if anybody were to tell me, oh, you you speak so well. You should be a motivational speaker. Da, 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 da. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. 
I say follow your dream, make your dream a reality, and keep it pushing. Never look back. I think that's a quote that I'm gonna stay for this video. I'll do it like this. The quote for this video, never look back. Who said it? Cash. That's who said it. Never look back. Because when you're looking back, you're too focused on what's going on back there. And I got this type of metaphor from a different person. And I look, and that person is like near and dear to my heart. When you focus on, let's say you're driving in a car and you're focused on the rear view mirror versus on your windshield. Why are you focused on this small little mirror that's focused on some little bitty stuff that's going on in the back when you have this huge window of opportunity right in front of you that you can drive forward to? So why focus on back there when you can keep moving forward? Never look back. So I done gave y'all and myself the little pep talk that we all probably needed to keep moving forward. So we're gonna do that. And I've already talked about how it's graduation season. And it's like today I have to go down to the city again. This time I'm leaving pretty early because I actually have a Saturday planned. Like what? So I'm supposed to be filming for my podcast. And if you haven't heard about my podcast, which if you have noticed, like if you are a diehard supporter of me, if you've noticed that I've taken all of the episodes off of this channel. And for the next episode of Blunt Conversations, which is a podcast, shameless plug, which you should probably look up there to go to one of the videos. It'll take you to the actual channel that it is on. It ha it's its own channel now. So we're, see that's one thing that I can low key talk about. We are branching out. Like the the podcast will no longer be on my channel. It's it's on its own. And we're looking to add more people to it. Like if you feel like you could be a special guest or if you just want to have input on what we talk about, you can DM me or at you can DM me at Humble Goddess on Twitter or underscore or at underscore humble goddess on Instagram. That's all that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure that my creative wheel, it doesn't have a plateau. It never has a comfort zone because I want to keep breaking out of my comfort zone the more that I can. And yeah, let's just say I like who I'm coming when I get out of my comfort zone. Like because I like to prove people wrong. Like, they'll never expect it to come out of me. And they'll be like, oh, that was you? I'll be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was me. Okay, so I'm officially done with my Morphe 35O palette. And I didn't mention it, but I have been, every time I would lean forward, I'm sneaking into my James Charles Morphe palette. So... Yeah, so some of the, like the orange and some of the highlight that you see up top were pretty much coming from, I think that's 518 face and whatever other colors those are up there. Cause I don't have the, I don't have the film to tell me what the shade colors are. So I'm not even about to sit here and butcher it. But what I am about to go into, oh my gosh, let me flip it this way. I'm about to just kind of stick with these three greens right here. I think, I'm not sure if this is social blade, or if this is social blade, or I don't even know what color, what the name is for this right here, but these, oops, oops, these three shades, boop, 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 right here, boom, 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 They're right here. And then I kind of go in with whatever color this is, right over here okay so oh and speaking of james charles i don't like to have i don't want my channel to become like where i sit here and talk about the tea of what's been going on but i just watched like this morning i just watched tati's video because yesterday you know if you my thing is if you're like a real 
viewer of YouTube, like this is my television. If you really watch it and you have people that you really genuinely follow, I get I get the notifications. And when I get the notifications, I'm gonna watch it. When I saw him post this random video, I'm like, it's not dolled up, it's raw cut, and the title is just Tati in lowercase. I remember him mentioning who Tati like every now and then, but I'm like, who's Tati? Like, what's going on? He goes, he does his little eight minute spiel. I'm like, what did you do? And I get that your mom probably wants to defend you and everything, but like, what did you do? And then this morning, I'm just scrolling through, you know, the morning scroll. And her video pops up at the at a certain point, and I'm like, my sister. I'm like, and it's 41 minutes long, no ads. She was genuinely pissed. And hopefully things work out because at the end of the day, YouTubers are just, they're humans who showcases their lives. So I never, it's like you would never want someone who had a genuine friendship or a genuine relationship with somebody that's hard to see come to an end, especially when you've been through it before. And I'm not saying that my relationships are so high scale like that, like in the public eye like that. But whenever I cut somebody off, like I'm the person to be like, hey, and my thing is when I cut you off, I, I barely tell, I will barely tell you. I'll just end up, I'm just cutting you off. Like there's, why, why would there need for me to be, have an explanation? Because when you try to come back around, like ain't nothing happened. Bye. That's probably the only part that kills me is like when they try to come back like ain't nothing happened. Cause I just be sitting, I'm like, are you really, this is how you feeling right now? We just gonna sit here and act like, like we just gonna sit here and act like you didn't just go and sitting here and telling me that you, well not even telling me, but you sitting Like you feel the same way about, it's just too much, too much, too much. But long story short, I get the pain that she's pro that she's probably going through because everybody deals with pain like that at a certain point in their life. And if they don't, if you don't, then that's good because that means something genuine is still there. But when you are fed up, but it's with the person that you love, and letting go is like the only option left. That's just it. It's never easy. It's, n it's never, never gonna be easy. That's like, and if you, and if you think it is easy or if you feel like it's easy to go through type a type of pain like that, don't come talk to me. Cause I know who I am. I'm an emotional person. And I deal with my emotions in private, so. And I'm hurting, and you don't hear from me for a while, just know that I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. Y'all give me a minute. But onto a more positive note, I am going on vacation soon. Like, uh, be, it's about to go to LA for the first time and when I tell you I can't wait, I need people, if you've been to LA before or if you're from LA, like let me know where I need to go. I know for a fact, hopefully, I can lock in a slot. Hopefully, she's in LA teaching, but I want to go to a Queens and Littles class. That's something that I really, really, really want to do. Like wholeheartedly. That's what I really want to do working on certain projects, making sure that everything is accounted for. Um, va vacations I'm planning on going to. Like my mom, she wants to go on a cruise. And I, I actually told her that finally I'm cool with going because I got a thing about, okay, I got a thing about me and boats. 
but I love water. That's the thing. I love water. I want to go to different countries. I want to go to islands. I want to enjoy the tropical life. But it's how I get there. Because if I get there by boat, I'm sitting here thinking that Titanic is about to reoccur and we're going to have some issues. Um, I'm not feeling that part. But she's like, no, you won't even know you're on water. You're going to have so much fun. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You can tell me all that in the world, but if I feel like I'm not safe, I'm not safe. Oh, yeah, and I'm doing my liner in Fenty Beauty's Fly Liner, Long Wear Liquid, liquid Liner, Liquid Eyeliner, because I'm black. And if you haven't known about this tool by now, I don't know where you've been. I just haven't got it yet until now. So serious moment, I gotta, I gotta do this. So, I'll be right back. What up? <laughs> yes, I'm back with a different mirror. Um, I'm just throwing on these lashes that are actually black owned. Dog by J. This is her old packaging. She has new packaging. I'm putting on the lashes in the style Bambi. So, yeah. And here's another thing for people who keep talking about support black owned businesses, do this and do that. I just want to know, do you really do it? <laughs> do you really be supporting these entrepreneurs out here in the world? Because what would be the point of you posting about it if you don't really support? Like I got a homie, his name, his nickname is Slim. And he has his own line of shades called Slim Shades. Get it? <laughs> I'm actually going to showcase them here in a second because this look is honestly done. Because we already know how I end up. Um, we all have seen my steps of how I go ahead and throw on. We all know the steps of how I go ahead and put on the powder, like the pressed powder and the highlighter and all that good stuff. So there's no point of me continuously showing that part. So, so yeah, what the hell? Okay. Oh gosh, oh my goodness, I'm breaking stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna be right back. Just give me one second. So yeah. This is the finished look. I hope y'all dig it. I'm glad y'all kicked it back. I hope, I'm glad y'all kicked back with me and just kind of enjoyed the little chit chat, get ready with me. I know I haven't done it in a long time, but it felt good to get back into it. And I hope y'all digging this look. If you try it, I want you, if you try it, if you try like to recreate it like I do with everybody else, I would love to see it. So if you're gonna post it, hashtag it, goddess slay. Okay, just hashtag a goddess slay. Cause I feel like nobody has that hashtag, but I mean, it is what it is. Oh, and before I forget, when I was telling you about my friend Slim. So he, these are his shades. That was a weird sound effect, but these are two versions of the current shades that he has. I don't know why my fingers are doing this weird thing, but there's definitely two of the two, um, two styles that he has. These are my all time favorite. Because one, this style of frame fits my face perfectly. Like for instance, because I always go to the black because black goes with everything. Like, aren't these cute? Like who does she, who does she think she is, uh, honey? And then, I mean, it's a pet peeve of mine for people to look over their glasses, but I mean, if it's for a look, it's just for a look. But yeah, that's all that I got for y'all. And since you made it to the end of this video and you're not subscribed, I feel like you should just go ahead and join the queendom. You know, I I accept everybody into this queendom. So if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that, click that subscribe button right there. Right all in there. If you feel like you need to see my finger right all in there, like all down there, go ahead and click that. My hand looks huge, but yeah. So click that. Click that button right down there. Hit that notification bell. It's right next to it. And I'll hit y'all back on the next video. I'm out.